Well, he certainly got choked up, and you're about to see that in a moment when he realized that she is the one who died out here, 65 years old, Laureen Wheaton. She is the only person who was inside of this building uh, when the and died when that BSO chopper crashed Monday morning. Now, Wheaton was from South Carolina. That's actually where her family still is even now. She'd lived here in South Florida for about the last 20 years, eight of those here in Pompano Beach. That close friend describing her as humble and kind, saying that she had overcome drug addiction and had been sober for more than a decade. Now, again, Wheaton, the only person in the apartment building who was killed when that BSO fire rescue helicopter fell out of the sky after taking off from Pompano Beach Air Park and reporting engine failure. One of the firefighters on board, Battalion Chief Terry St. Jackson, he also died in the crash. But two others who were on board escaped without serious injuries, and that includes the pilot. Now, Wheaton's close friend and AA sponsor, Michael Varon, he got emotional learning this morning that, in fact, she was the woman killed. Take a listen. I didn't want to admit it, but when I saw the flame from yesterday and the day before in the corner, and I've been praying, and it was the obvious that by coming this morning, it confirmed it. She's in heaven. So now we know that the National Transportation Safety Board collected all of the pieces of the helicopter and uh, loaded it onto a tow truck, hauled it away for further investigation. We're told that they will be looking at this, an in-depth investigation for the next several months, and that a final report may not be available for another year or two. We are live here in Pompano Beach, Marissa Bag, NBC6 News.